Hello guys, welcome. Welcome to Stock Phoenix. This is Prabhu here. And uh, we are here one more video with on the uh, learning series. So yesterday we discussed about the gravestone doji. So today we're going to discuss about the one more doji pattern, which is called as dragonfly doji. So yesterday we discussed about gravestone doji, how the formation will happen, and how the what is the importance of gravestone doji. So today, similarly, we want to discuss about the one more pattern, candlestick pattern called as dragonfly doji. So just to recap on that, it is a bullish reversal pattern, candlestick pattern. Straight away, we'll go back to the, uh, uh, we'll see how this works. So how does it happen? Now, uh, we know that doji is a sign for reversal, which the open equals uh, close, almost equal to close. And you'll have an upper wick and you'll have a lower wick. So some days what happens when the market opens at here and just goes down and goes up and close on the same top level this kind of a uh, pattern called as dragon fly so it's a flying so <clears throat> this particular pattern will be called as a dragon fly only when you see this kind of a pattern pattern on the bottom of the trend i mean on the downtrend reversal so just you, you just can't say that uh, you, when the market is an uptrend and uh, it, it just will close like this you cannot cannot call this candlestick pattern as dragon dragonfly it has to be on a downtrend after downtrend it gives a proper sign of a reversal so what is the confirmation the next day when the stock trades about this pattern then when you're going to get a confirmation that trend has reversed so what is so important about this particular candlestick pattern so what happens is the market will be on a downtrend mode the market will be on a downtrend mode after a good downtrend next day also market opens like example market is in downtrend like complete downtrend next day market opens here it goes further down at the lower level the bulls come into picture they push the market up and close on the right price of the open price so the buying pressure is coming from the lower level so this could be a one sign of a bottomed out stock now the next day when you can take an entry over here the aggressive traders can take an entry on the closing market hours of this particular candle keeping the, this as your stop loss when the next day when the candlestick open above here above the closure of the previous dragonfly doji the strong confirmation happen when the market second day opens here then you can shift your stop loss to your cost zone and save your capital and start trailing stop loss you will see a good amount of up move until you see a new sign of a reversal it could be a dragonfly doji it could be a bearish engulfing pattern or any other reversal candlestick patterns okay so that is what we call it as dragonfly doji so we discussed about the bullish and bearish marabuzu candles we discussed about the doji candle we discussed about the uh, gravestone doji we discussed about the dragonfly doji so five different kind of candlestick pattern we have covered so far so the further uh, the more advanced or not advanced the, the different type of candlestick pattern for the reversal things we will be learning in the upcoming classes hope this is going on a good learning phase let's not get into too much of hurry and learn all the candlestick pattern one particular day right so uh, learn slowly but learn constantly right these kind of a small small knowledge will you make you to get a good grip on the market right we'll get a good grip on the market uh, this looks my day this may look very simple but these are the things which matters most in the stock market because we are seeing it day in day out the success of these kind of a patterns now coming to that uh, we, we have almost closure to it let me show some examples from like have a look at it the market will be in a downtrend you will see these kind of a pattern on a dragonfly doji 
the light example is this it went down here second it will also have a longer lower shadow with a small or no upper shadow close approximately at the same price so it will have a good the bigger the longer week on the downside the stronger the market going to have a reversal just can't say that next day when the market when the market is in downtrend it opened it did like this no the longer the shadow the better the confirmation because it went long the bulls have come and pushed it with a good pressure and it lifted up the market to a good level right so have we, uh, with that we would like to conclude the today's video so who is very new to this come and uh, learning session of our video and do just uh, for your uh, registered for uh, for the free registration and start watching our series right from new series from day 1 onwards what we learn day 1 day 2 day 3 day 4 today is day 5 on top of it we also having a seminars coming in different cities pick for your favorite seminar city right better bangalore ahmedabad hyderabad pune chennai and mumbai where you located in these cities or be close by cities book your seats uh, for the uh, seminar and meet us right so that's all we had for the day we'll catch up again with the one more educational video till then have a nice evening i mean till happy trading and happy learning